Hi, my name is Abdul Jalil. Today I'm going to discuss with you an investment about cassava farming. I've made a research how to start a profitable cassava, cassava farming business. When you go to a shower market, Madina market, um, the villages is around Accra. They bring a lot of cassava. Some turn it into dough, cassava dough, and gari. But it sells very much. So if you want to learn how to go into that business, follow me. Let me show you how to start it. There. Now, welcome back. Now, let's dive into it. You have introduction and now cassava farming business is cassava farming profitable how to start and make money from cassava farming in Ghana so let's start before we start you have to know the commodity the cassava itself as uh, written here you know cassava is um it is grown in the tropical areas such as Ghana, Brazil, South America. So now this is my farm as you can see here. This is my cassava farm. Yeah. I just take this shot. To show you I'm not bluffing I've tried it I know what I'm talking about now you have uh, a lot to talk about about it you have an estimate here that I will show you how it works if you have like thousand cities or below thousand cities you can start this business so let's dive into the finances and let me show you how it is so firstly if you don't have a land you need to hire a land an acre of land is 300 Ghana per annum depending on the area some areas you can you can get it 200 so 300 is the average so if you get 300 you get the land you have it the whole year so 300 for the land and prepare another 800 for these items here weeding spraying fertilizer and planting this treating will cover the 800 Ghana so let's say if you have this thousand thousand one hundred Ghana you can start so these ones will come later because after eight months you have to bring another 200 to make it thousand five it is here so I made the calculation, it is here 1,005 in all. So 300 for the land, 800 Ghana city for weeding, the people who weed and prepare the land and buy the tubes, cassava tubes, and plant them. You pay them 300. It is like uh, eight, eight days work. They plant it the weed and let it like three days time they'll come and, and spray and start planting it so they will buy the spray from the 800 they will take their chop money they also buy water to spray and maybe sometimes they can hire the spray machine so making it 800 Ghana so 
te anu, te ika. After that, after uh, three months, you have to spray another one. You have to spray. So that one, it will not cost, it will cost you only 200 for the spray. So after that, before the harvesting, if you are lucky and the those who bought or who are going to buy your produce they can harvest it themselves but if you are not lucky you have to do the harvesting you have to hire people to harvest it and send it to them it depending on the area some areas the people who bought the produce will come and harvest it themselves so if the land is hard sometimes you have to do it or you have to pay people to do it for them so let's say you have one acre let's go here if you have one acre your profit is somewhere you sell the land the one acre produce for 2800 this one too depending on the area the average is 2500 so I'm using the highest to show you you can get that profit so after eight to nine months this will be your profit if all things being equal this is your profit thousand three so you invest thousand five you get you sell the produce thousand uh, two thousand eight your pro uh, your uh, your profit is thousand three so if you have two multiply by two you have three multiply by three you have four multiply by four so ten you have the ten here your profit will be thirteen thousand if you have ten acres i mean ten acres you have one acre your profit will be thousand three you have 10 acres you invest 15,000 and you will get 13,000 in return so in all you sell the produce 28,000 and you profit 13,000 so if you have money lying somewhere in a bank don't let this opportunity pass you this opportunity don't let it pass you so this is it. let me conclude by saying this is lucrative business if even if you are working somewhere you can let people do this for you stay where you are mind your own business and let people work for you so you are an employee somewhere you do have employees elsewhere working for you so Thank you very much. If I will show you some pictures of myself in my farm and show you my farm. So this will be the end, but I will show you the videos after this slideshow. Of cassava plantation. Ah, Kobe. Make a yellow man. Oh, I have to come to the Cassava farm. Cassava farm. Okay. <laughs> Master the video. Hey. 
As I just your cassava found the uh, are they jealous you? Ah. Mm. I am fine too. Banjo is a baby for four pounds.